Hello, you bunch of tankers, and welcome back to the channel. Yes, it is another American tank on the channel. And yes, it is another good game, and I do apologise. I will get some bad gameplay games out there for you, because that's kind of what I like to push as well, is the bad stuff, and we all can discuss between ourselves what went wrong, why it went wrong, and kind of whose fault is it, you know. Um, so yes, we're out in the M46 pattern. The Pershing is currently gathering dust in the garage. There's no crew in it, so, I mean, that's not too bad. Like, I take the Thunderbolt out, crew train, etc, etc. So that's not bad. This is fully upgraded with the 105. Um, I am out platooning with Disco Stew of the Filth Clan in this round. He is out in, I believe, the Tier 9 Chinese TD, which at the time he was commenting just how slow it was for big open maps. And um, yeah, it does kind of show in, in the game as it goes on. So we have got the 105. I opted for the 105 over the 90. The 90 does get more penetration, slightly. And by slightly, I mean on its standard pen, it gets three millimeters more penetration, but only does 240 alpha. Yeah, you've got a better rate of fire, but this does 390, and I tend to find this is like the, the choice between the 20 pounder on the 7-1 Centurion or the 105, and the 90 mil on the Type 61 or the 105. The 105s, on average, tier 9 mediums will put out 390, and it tends to make people think twice about pushing as hard when they get that much uh, that many hit points taken off them. So we've come up to this perch. At the time, I was thinking this is a really, really stupid idea. I am a massive arty target right now. I am just, I mean, I've literally handed myself on a pedestal. Um, but we get quite lucky, to be honest with you. This was a pretty nice game that I had. Um, we did have uh, Luke Newcomb of Filth as well with us, but he just got off for this game, which I think he was a little bit gutted about. But this was a this was my best game in the pattern so far, and it, I mean it was a real highlight of the night for me in the session we played. Um, yeah, there was a bit of a carry in there. Spoiler alert. So we've got a T30 well out in the open so far, and it looks like a lot of their team is quite spread in this area. And I've got a lot of TD back up. If you look to the right hand side of the mini map, there's a lot of TDs down there, um, and only two of us mediums. E75 proxy spots me, so I'm not going to be losing that anytime soon. Now, that e IS, okay, he's a tier 7, but he's still got a really nice gun that can go through the side of my turret, so I have got to be a little bit concerned about him. But right now, this E75 is my worry. E75 is an absolutely wonderful tank. Not just at its tier, it is just overall an absolutely wonderful tank. And it's kind of like putting a fox amongst chickens, if you get that thing up, <coughs> up amongst TDs. Excuse me for coughing. It's got good mobility, it's got a great gun, it's got fantastic armor. But Stu's going in there, get a nice shot into his bottom, and he takes down the E75. This IS, he's playing peekaboo with me amongst the buildings. A little bit annoying, but he has forgotten that buildings are destructible. So, just remember that, they can be taken down. Now we're trying to utilize this perch as much as possible. I've got a really nice spot and it's keeping that T30 pinned down on the beach because he's all alone. And there we go, I was gonna say, we've got TDs going down there and a medium. T28 Proto takes him out quite nicely. And I kind of just want to use this position for as much as possible, but I am very aware. We were both very aware at this point. If you look at the map, the other side of the map is getting heavily dominated by the reds. And that's a bit of a concern because they can quite easily flank around the back of us. So we decide to turn tail and run. Stu's going to go and deal with that T30 and the, uh, sorry, the IS. And we're going to turn tail. And I'm, my point here was I really wanted to try and get to the center of the map, just where the valley runs through the center. There's a couple of nice ridges. I really wanted to just peek over there and use the fantastic view range of the pattern and just spot out what I can. Now, the standard base, base view range on the pattern is 410 um, meters on the top package so I am running optics I may switch them out for vents because I have got a really good crew on this thing uh, and with that base view range I mean you can see from the cone on the map it, it over extends from my detection radius um, so I could probably dump the optics really I know that with optics it will drop down a fair bit but I don't know it's a tough call vents would get that reload a little bit faster but I don't know I don't know so yes, we have come to the middle, and we have managed to spot out quite a few tanks, and this is exactly why I wanted to come here. 110 gets quite lucky there as my round derps into the floor, uh, but it's the Atomic on the left. He's concerning me ever so slightly. 
Um, and I am being aimed at, we've got a light tank circling, so... <clears throat> That's one LTG down, and now there is a second LTG who just sat in this ridge where I was um, playing Overwatch on. Yes, AT-15. Give it to me, baby. There we go. Through the cupola of the AT-15. Now, this I have found a lot more accurate than the 90 mil. I don't know what it is, but I've just... I find it just hits a lot nicer. Um, and I can really aim for them weak points when I need to. I found the 90. I had to close the engagement range so much to try and hit the weak points that it was just totally detrimental to my play because the pattern is not a brawler. It is a support tank, to be honest. Um, so it, it wasn't really working out for me. Like I say, it's nice to get that alpha, isn't it? Put one through the four sig. If I'd have had HE loaded there, we probably could have taken him out. But obviously, hindsight is a wonderful thing. But we've got him down to a one shot, and that's what matters. It means he, he should hopefully back off a little bit now. LTG comes in, so we go for the ram. I am a lot heavier than him, but that atomic is behind me, and I have my bottom phase two. He's in quite a nice position there, really presenting his gun mantle and his um, turret front to me. And like to no, know, it's 254 millimeters that turret foot, so we've got to be careful. Arty goes in with a pop shot, and I am now a sitting duck in front of a T28 Proto. I know there's a Borsig out there, but if I reverse too much, that atomic is going to get shots on me. And now he has a 110 with him as well. Gunner gets killed. That is very unfortunate because I've already used my med kit on getting my commander out of a coma. Gun depression fail on the T28. Give me your Capola. Now, it deviates. We, like I say, we have got a, <coughs> a knocked out gunner. So, no weak point sniping from me. Now, the gunner being dead is going to be a massive issue for me in the late stages of the game. I mean, we're already up to four kills. We're on five and a half thousand damage. Um, and we've managed to block 1830, which is quite nice because I have been struggling with this turret just due to the gun weapon being so slow. So it's, it's dead even now. We've got four tanks apiece. They've got a heavy and a medium and a TD. I've got three TDs myself. So Stu goes down to the cap just to try and distract them, just to try and make them think differently as to what they're doing. You never know. They might turn around and put themselves in the open. But the Atomic is pushing hard for our cap, and I need to stop that. Big time. So we're just going to bide our time and wait for the shot. Like I say, I've got the view range. I can spot him out pretty easily. But I think, do you know what? Let's intercept him. He's going to be going for the cap. So let's get an overwatch position, get ourselves hull down, and make sure that we can see what's going on. And it's lucky that I did because there is a 110 with him as well. Not good. Not good at all. It's a nice shot on the atomic, but the building does get in the way. Unfortunately, that is probably one of the, the only accurate shots that we now get for the end of this game. We get a lucky hit on the atomic. That, as you can see, that was curving left. So it's very, very lucky. And as they go out, I'm, I'm not happy with that. I, d I don't want them going out of view range. Another accurate shot hits straight into a building. Yay! Dead gunner. <laughs> it's so frustrating. I mean, this this was happening. Uh, this was live on stream, me and Stu. And I was getting so frustrated with the fact that having that gunner gone was just absolutely ruining me. Now this uh, <laughs> this one one this one one oh this one ten is really really quite a tricksy little hobbit right now. He's using that pike nose really really nicely. He doesn't quite know where I am, <laughs> but unfortunately the, he's just wriggling round like a wriggly worm, and he is absolutely causing me a mischief with this broken gun. Uh, sorry, with this dead gunner. As you can see, we are down to the premium rounds. I have no choice because I have used all of my standard rounds. This is usually when I end up on premium rounds is when I run out of standards. Should maybe run a bit less. Get a really, really nice shot through his lower plate. Like I say, that alpha, really, really good. If I had the rate of fire of the 90, yeah, I could be chipping away at him. But <laughs> this is kind of one of them situations where that would be useful. But like I say, I, I just find that higher alpha of the 105 really just stops people from trying to rush you quite as much. 
And this is this was basically the last couple of minutes of the game was just me shooting, uh, basically a uh, fish in a barrel, and missing. <laughs> it's so frustrating. TD comes in to try and steal the kill. Luckily, only tracks him, and we managed to get our top gun, which, like I say was a really, really nice game for me. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. 22 pens, we didn't have a fire on that, but we just managed to go from a real stalemate to turn it round. I got a lot of luck with RNG, um, and we came out with 7,241 damage, six, only 621 assists, but we do get the McDonald's Golden Arch, Top Gun, Steel Wall, and a Spartan, and a high caliber as well. How could I miss out on that? Unfortunately, only 10,000 silver because of dropping down into our premium rounds, but... Uh, Hey, without a dead gunner, just think how much quicker that round could have been over. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you did, give me a like. If you didn't, give me a dislike. And if you want to see more, remember to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified when my content goes live. Uh, yeah, so until next time, guys, have fun. Keep calm, carry on tanking, and I'll see you all soon.